Hello my lovelies and welcome to Sauntering Tarot. Uh, we're going to be doing a daily tarot reading for the 25th of April 2023. We'll be using the Magical Dogs Tarot yet again. I do believe this is our fourth day or so of using this deck. So let's see what comes out for today. Actually, let me adjust this just a little bit. I know I can get us closer. There we go. All right, my lovelies. We have the Sea Alpha Male. That's our King of Cups. The Fire Puppy in the reverse, which is our Page of Wands. The Eight of Earth. The Nine of Sky in the reverse. The Five of Sky. And the Earth Puppy, so our Page of Pentacles. Uh, I must say, this is um, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to, there's an opportunity here today to take better care of ourselves, especially to get in tune with our emotional state and how that um, coincides with our body, basically. So instead of rushing off um, to do the next new thing or the next task that you have on your to-do list, you know, priorities, home life, work, etc., uh, take a minute to focus on de-stressing with this nine of sky in the reverse that needs um, some skills some perfection so decompressing um, especially in the face of conflict or after conflict when you're all hyped up i would also say for those that are prone to anxiety or have past trauma this is a day where you really want to go within and focus on that. I'm surprised that they didn't give me the Hermit card with that. Instead, they gave me the Eight of Earth. So I guess that's more universal. However, whether you have any mental illness or, or not, everyone deserves to be stress-free. <laughs> or to have the, the very littlest amount of stress that um, they are capable of. And, and that said... Uh, if we decompress, if we get rid of our anxiety or identify it to where we can work on it, it, it does uh, better our circumstances. In fact, it gives us um, rewards all of its own. It means we have a, a better mental state. It means that on the inside has a reflection on the outside. It means we're also able to focus differently. We might get the opportunity to do more activities that we never really had the chance to do before because we were too stressed out. We were too tired. We were just kind of, Ugh. and if we manage our stress level better, it allows us the, the free time to prioritize and manage other things as well, rather than being focused on um, pain, being focused on conflict, being uh, focused and locked into that tight feeling of your body when it's just weighed down by stress. So yes, this is a day where we're going to take care of ourselves a little bit better or um, if not, at least hopefully entertain that idea. I, I would go for it. I, I don't know about you, but uh, feeling stretched really thin, full of stress, it's it weighs you down, it's uncomfortable, and instead, I'm sorry, I'd rather relax and have a day off and enjoy my time if I can. Everything, let's see, everything adds up to 25, which reduces to 7 in numerology, which is the mind and creativity. In this case, it's the mind. So if you can think it, you can dream it. In this case, slow down your, your thought process if you can. Um, focus a little bit better, get it more organized. If you can't control it, let it go. If you can't change it, let it go. All right. And for those that like the astrology, Sun and Taurus, Sextile, Saturn, and Pisces, ambition can run high. You'll be more disciplined with what you can achieve. I may want to focus on new goals or pick up, pick back up old ones. And instead, today, the cards have actually 
not went with the astrology, they've asked for you to take a break. Give your mind a break. Give your body a break. Relax. If you're too stressed, you know, take a personal day from work. If you've got a buttload of chores to do, maybe this is not the day to try and clean your entire house all at once. All right, my lovelies, I hope some of this resonated for you. If it did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.